I would like to welcome you all to the 5,546th meeting of the Rotary Club of Chicago. Rotary One is now in session. So, ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be the easiest Rotary meeting of my Rotary One presidency because I get to sit back, relax, and let Rotaract run the show. Uh, it also means, by the way, that you're going to have fun. Uh, and uh, let me just start with some introductions. Uh, and I'm going to start with Lauren Pugliese, who is the uh, president of Rotaract. She lives in Chicago and actually works for the Rotary Foundation as part of the donor relations team, uh, which is perfect because uh, our club uh, is in within uh, the midst of the annual campaign right now to raise money for the Rotary Foundation as well as the Rotary One Foundation. She's a graduate of the College of Worcester, where she majored in sociology and minored in urban studies and Spanish. In her free time, she likes to explore Chicago restaurants, I assume when they're open, um, and volunteering with iMentor, as well as running along the lakefront. Since she joined Rotaract in 2018, She's enjoyed meeting community leaders and doing hands-on work in neighborhoods across the city. She's dedicated to helping her members get the most value out of the Rotaract membership. The other uh, Rotaract member that uh, I'd like to introduce right now um, is Why Not Charles. Now she's originally from the Commonwealth of Dominica where she was a member of the Rotaract Club of Rousseau. After obtaining her associate's degree, she moved to Chicago, where she's currently pursuing her bachelor's degree in health science and English at DePaul University. She currently works as a peer health educator in the university's Office of Health Promotion and Wellness. In her spare time, she enjoys traveling, trying new hobbies, and exploring new places in the Chicagoland area. She joined Rotaract because she is passionate about giving back to and creating change in her community. And so with that, I'd like to turn the floor over to Lauren, and why not? Thank you so much for having us, everyone. We are really excited to be here. And before we really start with our presentation, we want to get to know everyone a bit more. We want to be a little comfortable with each other. So we're going to go out into breakout rooms and do two things. First, we're going to answer a question of the day, which is something that we always do in Rotract. We always start our meetings off with that. And we have a fun little bingo activity where you can get to know other people more. I'm going to share a link to the bingo in the chat so you can just have it open in another tab and just um, go through it with other people. And so basically you'll be asking other people, you'll be finding other people with um, similar attributes that are listed and you're going to try and get bingo. After you answer the question of the day, which is why did you join Rotaract or Rotary? And I think that this is a great question to start off with to really um, get to know why people, why we're all here, you know, find out what we have in common and what we really have um, connecting us together. So I've posted it in the chat as well, the question of the day, why did you join Rotaract and Rotary? And I'll post a link to the bingo card just so you could see it. everyone should have access to it. Now we're going to talk about the question of the day, do the little breakout activity, and then we're going to come back and do the nitty gritty stuff. Does, does that sound good to everyone? Yes. Awesome. Does anyone want to talk about like the experience, anything exciting on you they discovered about another Rotarian or Retractor? It was uh, great to meet uh, Horatio, who's uh, calling in from Texas. Um, and that, you know, he spent four years in, uh, in Milwaukee and also served in the military for 24 years. Did I get that right? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so right now I'm going to try and share my screen. Hopefully Zoom is kind to me. Can everybody see that? Yep. 
Awesome. Okay. So again, thank you so much um, to Rotary for really um, inviting us to this meeting and inviting us to um, share with you guys about our club. Uh, once again, my name is Wayne Charles. I am the vice president of the club and Lauren Poglisi is the president. She's here with us tonight. We also have a number of retroactors present this evening. I'm not too sure if you guys just want to um, mute yourselves, say your name, and probably one thing about yourselves before we continue. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm a part of the Rotaract Club of Chicago as well. I am the um, director of public relations, so I, um, I'm in charge of all the social media. Um, I've been a part of Rotaract since, well, I've been part of Rotary since high school. I was an Interact, and then I did Rotaract all through college, um, originally from Michigan. So I've only lived in Chicago for about a year and a half. Nice to meet you all. My name is Donner. I'm the current past president, so I had the fortunate uh, opportunity to meet many of you. Uh, and kind of a fun fact is um, I was able to spend a night in uh, Mexico City with a rotor actor and kind of showed me around. So that's a, a fun experience I got by being in part of Rotary. Uh, I can go next. Uh, my name is Teddy Pereira. I've been in Rotor Act for about a year and a half, almost two years now. Uh, uh, no, just a regular member, uh, and I guess for work, I work at the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, and right now I'm getting my MBA at night um, at Northwestern at Kellogg. Uh, so it's nice to meet everybody. Yep, and uh, I'll also go. My name is Nick Latimer. I'm also just a regular member. Uh, just joined uh, a few months ago, and I'm originally from Kansas. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to be in the big city and I've, uh, looked forward to meeting everyone here tonight. Um, I guess I can go. Um, I'm, my name is Ricardo. I'm a scientist at Abbott and, um, I've been a member for about two years now. Um, ended up joining, uh, after meeting a bunch of the members, um, about two years now and going to the Paul Harris house and that's about it. Okay. Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Lauren Puglisi and I am the president of the club this year. And I'm really excited that you're here with us this evening. So, our relationship with Rotary One enriches the membership experience for our club's Rotaractors. Not only does your club offer us friendship and fellowship, you support our club by providing funds and participation, and you inspire us to reach higher and increase our impact in the community. We are a group of young professionals with fresh perspectives, innovative ideas, and lots of energy. And we have careers, networks, and skills that we are eager to share with you in order to advance our shared mission and purpose. Just as your partnership creates value for our members, we hope to create value for yours. Together, we can empower each other to build, to be better leaders, to be agents for positive change in the community and build upon the legacy that these clubs have established. Thank you not only for being here this evening, but for remaining approachable and eager to strengthen our relationship between the clubs. I'll now pass it off to Wynette Charles, the vice president, to talk about our members and our impact. Thank you so much, Lauren. Okay, so the Rotary Club of Chicago. We are a very active club. Um, Pre-COVID, I would, I would say COVID has definitely put a, a little pin in a lot of the things that we used to do together as a club. So this is kind of an overview of us at the, as a club. This is our executive board. Um, you know, met Lauren, myself, um, Sophia, our secretary is unable to be here this evening, as well as Chris, our treasurer. And then we have our directors for the year. 
Um, we're very diverse in terms of um, where our members come from and what industries they work for. From the data from our end of year report in 2019-2020, we had 25 active members from five different states and nine different countries, including Germany, Mexico, Dominica, Turkey, um, that I can remember off the top of my head. And this is just a little pie chart to show um, different industries that our members work in, consulting, um, healthcare, finance, and such and such. So we really are a group of young professionals. Like we are working young professionals, really looking to make an impact in the Chicago community. In the last year, we did over 300 service hours, which included working with about 11 nonprofit organizations, such as my blog, My Hood, My City, which is a picture right here. Um, Night Ministry, Greater Food um, Depository, we've worked with them um, before last year as well. We've also worked with Cradles to Crayons, Lakeview Pantry, several other um organizations and businesses within the Chicagoland community. And you probably realize I said that we've worked with a number of them before. And we really like coming back to where we can see the change and where we are really welcomed. And these are service projects that we really enjoy doing genuinely as a club. For the 2019 International Service Project, we raised over $15,000 and it would be remiss of me not to mention the support that Rotary gave to us for that International Service Project. Um, many Rotarians came out to help us in um, not just being there to support us in the planning, but also to support us in the actual event. It was dubbed a summer night for Jordan and it was a really enjoyable, really successful event. We had um, fireworks of the Yacht Club, which was really beautiful. And it was just a really good evening, good experience to raise money for um, the organization that we choose that year. And to really spend um, that doing a little bit of fellowship as well. So that was really enjoyable. And um, we got, it was one of the upper, the, opportunities that we got to interact with a lot of Rotarians and really connect a network and just, you know, enjoy each other's presence. So I think for me personally, I love to experience moments like this where we're just being Rotaractors and being Rotarians together. And the past ISP for the year before benefited the Messi charity in Mexico. And we had it at the um, Mexican Museum in Pilsen, is it in Pilsen? Yeah, it was it was beautiful. We had it to ourselves. We took a tour of the museum. It was just beautiful. And um, we did raise a significant amount of money as well for that charity. So some other things that we do as a club, professional development, our round tables usually consist of having a speaker come and speak to us about a particular topic. And we've had numerous individuals from local community and businesses, including um, Rotary One's very own Marshall Smith. We've had Seth Green, um, Bill Russell, et cetera. And, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. We do enjoy our social events at the Rotary Club of Chicago. Um, one thing that we started doing over the course of the last year was having our neighborhood dinners. Like I said in the beginning, we are a very culturally diverse club. And one way that we started to really um, connect with each other is through food. And so we started going to different restaurants, um, that kind of reflected the different countries our members were from. So we went to um, Troy Mediterranean Grill and Turkish Kitchen. We went to Sina's Brazilian Brunch. In my bigger room, we were talking about um, Brazil a lot. So I'm glad that's included on the slideshow. And we've also done um, social darts. We went to the Lincoln Park Adults Night which I, if I recall correctly, was also with Rotary that time. And then in COVID times, we've 
done some virtual trivia as well. So if you're not already involved with the Road Rat Club Chicago, Chicago, I hope you'll connect and engage with us. And there are many different ways you can do that. One way is by offering mentorship to current rotor actors. We are open and we are eager for mentors to support not only our professional careers, but for those who wanna help us along our rotary journey. Um, many of us have done Youth Exchange or have done Interact and Viola, and now we're in Rotaract. And so your expertise and experience are things that rotor actors would really appreciate. You can come to our events and meetings. Please don't ever be a stranger. You're always welcome to our events. We really enjoy having visitors and we'd love to show you what we're up to. You can connect us with resources. Um, one thing that we often struggle with is finding speakers and professional development opportunities um, that bring really great value to our members. If you're willing and able to connect us with these types of, of opportunities, um, our club will only grow stronger. And last but not least, let us know what events you want us to attend. If you're like me, you likely receive at least 10 Rotary emails every day or every hour, it seems like. And there is just too much information and too many events to know like what is truly, truly important. So if you have really important events that are a priority for your club, let us know so we can highlight those specific ones for our members and promote them and encourage participation. And as always, if you have other opportunities or ideas for collaboration, let us know because we're really eager to continue building this relationship with Rotary One. So yeah, it was a short and sweet uh, little presentation, but Richardy, what I know um, at the end of the last year, you know, we were talking, a group of us were talking to Eric and we really wanted to build this relationship between um, Rotract and Rotary. And you can always connect with us on social media. Um, we're on LinkedIn as well, very professionally. Um, sharing a couple updates, um, professional updates, but we're also on Facebook and Instagram. And like Lauren said, you know, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us, whether it is you wanted to help us to offer mentorship or resources, or even um, just wanted to um, see how you as a Rotarian can assist um, any of our members individually or as a club, we have our email address right here and we are more than willing to be open, more um, than happy to whatever may come to really dive deep and to really develop this relationship. So yeah, that is the end of what I have. I will stop sharing my screen now. And I am quite sure that many of you have comments or questions that you would love to ask us for Interactive. So feel free to ask us or um, you can always contact us afterwards. Uh, are this open to your guests or strictly for the road reactors now? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I can, are you having a, a regular Zoom meetings that are scheduled or because clubs are no longer uh, meeting physically, uh, uh, well, not all the clubs, you know, because of the COVID-19. What is your meeting uh, calendar like? Can you answer that? How are you meeting? Are you meeting by Zoom? Or are you meeting at a designated place? I can I can answer that one. Okay. So we we have been meeting virtually since March. Um, we've done a couple of in person, socially distanced outside events, but with everything happening, um, it's just it's easier and safer to do it virtually. And, and you know, this virtual platform has allowed us to even try new things and to innovate different types of events and different types of engagement. So although it's really um, thrown a wrench in our plans this year, it's really um, challenged us 
to get creative and create new opportunities and really focus on that membership, the value of Rotaract membership um, this year. So it's been great. How often do you meet? She just told you. We, we do one social, one service, and one like round table every month. Every month. Okay. At least, yeah. Yeah. If there's an opportunity to speak to you either about our Rotary Global History Fellowship, that's a worldwide fellowship of Rotary from uh, two, over 210 countries. Well, we got uh, members from uh, less than that. And also, I'm president of the Paul Harris Memorial, where Paul, our founder, is buried. And I can speak to you on that. I get international visits and visits from Rotary Arts Club Society and directors. And so there are things that I may be able to speak at times or meet with you guys. Uh, this is for information for you. It's something that I've accumulated over 47 years. Yeah, that would be great. We'd love to take you up on some of I'll give offers. you my email right now. Write it down. P <laughs> P D P D G past District Governor I Kaplan at AOL.com. Call me anytime for either a small gathering, just a speaker, a Zoom meeting, whatever. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, Lauren, this is Marshall. You should definitely take him up on that. He's <laughs> the font of all rotary history. And he's very entertaining when it comes to uh, laying out the history of rotary. I'll take a second or third to Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> so have you all uh, decided on a project for this year yet? That was meant for the Rotaract Club. <laughs> I don't know any Rotaract. Uh, I don't want to answer all of the questions. I can, but is, is any other Rotaract just wants to answer? As I can. I can. I can talk about it. So right now, um, COVID has has, like I said before, has really messed up our plans for the year. Um, we are. We have not committed to a specific. Um, fundraising event, yeah, or fundraiser of sorts um, for this year, but it is something that we are currently looking at um, and trying to figure out what's the best way we can do this virtually. Um, well, you know, being being effective and really gaining support and momentum behind a cause. So it's something that we're currently looking at, but we don't yet have anything um, solidified and planned yet. Yeah, and I think that was also probably a cue for me to help chime in is one of our members uh, it lives down in uh, Mexico in Cancun. And so we actually received a district grant and we're working with the Rotaract Club down there to uh, kind of like two different events. One is definitely going to be with a, an orphanage where we're going to just provide some, uh, we're talking about essentially putting on like a fair of sorts. So it's like a day right around Christmas time where they, they get toys and they also kind of get out and get to, you know, play around. And then we're also working on having some kind of second, uh, figure out the logistics for a second use of the uh, of the grant where we provide a some kind of uh, like English course and seeing if it's something we can actually have more long term. Um, then we're also going to try to contact the, the district governor down there. And so that is something that's building into, I think, uh, probably a larger our larger event for the year. Well, I'll, I'll ask a question. Um, have you guys, since I know that uh, one of the items you talked about in terms of uh, how to support the Rotaract Club is with mentorship opportunities, um, and I just wanted to make sure that all the Rotaractors were familiar with the, uh, the Rotary Network. Uh, Marshall, the Rotary Network still has the, the mentoring module to it, correct? You know, it does, and um, we... You know, we talked uh, at the um, at one of the Rotaract meetings about the Rotary Network, but I also understand that the, um, the through Donner is the the Rotaract liaison that there are several um, mentorship initiatives within the district. So, um, 
we really would like feedback uh, both at the Rotary Network and the district level as to, you know, what kind of mentorship opportunities you guys uh, are looking for. I, I think to Lauren's point about the impact of COVID, it, you know, mentorship is, you know, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And so when you meet over video, I think it's very hard to, to generate a mentorship relationship. It might be a good time to kind of take stock and plan for when we do start meeting again as to exactly what kinds of opportunities you guys would like. You know, we, we consulted with the, you know, the uh, Rotaract Club in Birmingham, which is maybe the largest Rotaract Club in the world, has an amazing uh, mentorship program. And it might be a good time to kind of prepare to, to launch something like that once things uh, return, you know, more to normal and people can get together. Yeah, that's a great idea, especially with another, you know, once we can get together, uh, every reason is a good reason to, uh, you know, share some, some friendship. Well, um, I want to say it's been great to work with Rotaract on the Job One program. Um, you all helped out us doing interviews with our students our mock interviews virtually, which was something different for all of us. And I'm hoping to work with you all this year again with our students and hopefully have some type of mentorship where you all can help us mentor the students in their next phase of life that um, as they tend to think we're, we're old fogies and we don't know what's going on. So you are a little bit closer to their age group and helping them understand how that transition from high school to college and from college into the real world um, really works out. So it's been great working with you guys last year and I'm hoping to work with you all again this year. Thanks, Thank Alina. Thank you so much. Um, if that is all the questions, and if anyone else has any questions for us or any um, other um, connections or anything like that, you can always reach out to any of us after the meeting. After the meeting. But right now, I would like to pass things over to President Eric. Thank you very much, Moina. And uh, thanks to all the Rhetoractors for sharing their evening with us and uh, leading the meeting and planning the meeting for us here tonight. Um, thanks for the opportunity for some fellowship. Uh, I know that uh, folks have been missing that. So that was nice to have that, that opportunity and it was fun to get to know people. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, although I'm gonna run through some announcements now for the Rotary Club of Chicago, uh, and we'll probably wrap up by 6.30. Uh, I will keep the Zoom meeting open for a little bit. Uh, if anybody wishes to uh, stick around and chat, uh, we can certainly do that and grab yourself a drink or, or something like that for a, a little, uh, little casual conversation, whoever wants to stick around. Um, but uh, let's move on to another one of our traditions, which is the introduction of guests. Um, and uh, we have several guests on with us tonight. Uh, so I am uh, just going to run down the participant list. And if you could just briefly tell us your name, uh, tell us what you do, and tell us uh, what Rotary Club or Rotaract Club you are with. Um, if you are, in fact, a Rotarian. Uh, and the first person on my list is Alicia Lake from the Rotary Club of St. Martin Sunset. Could you introduce yourself, please? A pleasant, good, I believe it's afternoon up there, but it's evening in St. Martin. I am from the Rotary Club of St. Martin Sunset. I'm the president of the club. Um, St. Martin is located in the Eastern Caribbean, if those who are aware. I had a brief conversation with um, Rotaractor. I believe your last name is 
Charles, I think it is. Yes, Charles. And um, we share something in common. Her island as well is in the Caribbean. And it was indeed being here to hear, you know, the Rotaractors. I, I do, um, you know, feel your passion. I'm a past Rotaractor. I'm a past Interactor. I'm a past District Rotaract representative as well. So Rotaract is indeed dear to my heart. So um, thank you for having me. And I'm enjoying the meeting. It's an honor to have you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Erlo. Welcome back, Erlo. Please introduce yourself to the group. I think you may be on mute, Erlo. Thank you. Yes, my name is Erlo Roth. I was born and raised in Brazil. I became a Rotarian in 1986 uh, and eventually president of the Hinza Rotary, where I've been for a long time. And then I moved to a few other Rotary clubs because a noon meeting interfered with my, my job. And that's one reason why I joined the Chicago Northwest. So now I'm with the Chicago Northwest Club. It's a club that is, uh, is trying to rebuild itself uh, because we're down to 10 members. But uh, today we will be uh, welcoming uh, another member from another club. So we'll be up uh, an increase of 10% by having one more. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks, Erlo. Glad to have you here as always. Um, and speaking of uh, other Rotarians, we love to welcome every week. Uh, Irvin Ruth, could you introduce yourself to the group? I'm an honorary member of Rotary One, which is a great honor. That was a super surprise. And I'm a member of the Westmont Rotary Club also. And I help Irving at the memorial and at the house. And it's getting cold outside, so we got to get some new stones put in soon, this week. Well, I'm going to say hello to Erlo and tell Erlo that I miss going to a Northwest Rotary Club meeting. I've made a, quite a few. And as soon as we this COVID, uh, let's say, gives us a breather, I'll be out there. But I'll be there uh, downtown to see you. Ed. Anyhow, uh, I want to extend an individual rope. Uh, invitation to all the uh, rotary actors and anyone else that on a one by one or two person basis, if you give me a call or any email, I'll be happy to show you some of our historic sites and talk to you about uh, rotary history in a way that many Rotarians uh, do not participate. But it'll be healthy for you and won't be boring. It's good to be with you all. That's why I came here tonight. Thank you so much, Irv. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, our next uh, our next guest here on uh, my list is John Kent from Arlington Heights. John, could you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name's John. I'm an insurance agent in uh, Lakeview, neighborhood of Chicago, and I'm a resident of Arlington Heights. So I joined the Arlington Heights Rotary Club in uh, District 6440. I'm a former exchange student to uh, Charleroi, Belgium from uh, 1982. And um, I rejoined Rotary three years ago because my kids were in high school and they were starting to take languages and wanting to travel. Uh, so now I uh, joined the exchange committee and I'm the uh, outbound exchange coordinator for 6440. And uh, with my local club, I'm now um, the new generations chair, which is like the youth services chair. So I, I oversee two Interact clubs at Prospect High School and Rolling Meadows High School. And uh, I help a lot with 6440 Youth Services as well. So I think they're kind of grooming me to do more. Um, Rotaract, I have some contact with Rotaract at Harper Community College. And uh, I have a lot of deep roots in Chicago. So I interact with um, other universities, Loyola, UIC, DePaul. But as far as I know, there is not an active Rotaract yet well maybe you got some ideas for uh for starting one up your way um and we also uh our club just last year started uh an inter interact club at Northside college prep so uh maybe we'll have to nice. trade some notes on that thank you very much john for joining us today uh i see um rotarian molly martin from naperville could you introduce yourself thank you yes happy to and happy to be here again 
Um, Molly Martin, I am a member of the Rotary Club of Naperville. We actually have four Rotary Clubs because not everyone can meet at noon on Thursdays. So um, we have the After Dark Club, the 440 Club, uh, 444 Club, excuse me, meets at 444. And um, Sunrise that meets at, I believe it's seven in the morning on Friday. It's a little too early for me. So I have been a um, uh, Rotarian for about a year and a half, goes back to June of 2019. I'm a, a retired uh, music educator and choral educator of about 40 years. And um, when I retired, um, uh, by the way, for those of you who aren't familiar with Naperville, we're about 30 minutes west of um, uh, Chicago. Uh, I, uh, loving working with children and teaching children and feeling um, not only their gifts to me, but my having the opportunity to uh, serve them. When I left teaching, it was very difficult to find what I was looking for to fill that very large void. And eventually, actually, Rotary found me. Uh, I uh, attended an international service summit that uh, the Rotary Club of Naperville sponsors. Um, uh, it was their second annual. And then last year, because of COVID, we couldn't have it. But we're hoping this year in May, we will have another in-person. We'll see. Uh, and um, that's where I found uh, my new place for service, which is just so important to me. And um, three months into my, my uh, membership, I, uh, as circumstances would have it, I became the chair of the Youth Service Committee. One of the things that uh, is under our umbrella is Rotaract. And we do, have, we do sponsor two Rotaract clubs. As I understand it, there are actually only three right now in District 6450. And uh, two of them, are, uh, we're involved with North Central College in Naperville and Benedictine University um, in Lyle. Unfortunately, with COVID, it's, uh, it, they are not active per se at this particular time. And I thought tuning in tonight, and I have found this to be true, that we could, I, on behalf of our club, we could make some connections with Rotaract of Chicago and um, just start exchanging ideas and and support. And I already have a little bit with Lauren in the breakout room. Uh, just delighted to be here and so glad that you provided this opportunity to Rotarians to be your guests. Thank you. Thank you very much, Molly. Uh, thanks for joining. I'm glad uh, you were able to to learn something. And I'm sure uh, our Rotaract Club, as well as our club, um, if there's any information we can share, uh, happy to, to do that. Um, moving on our guest list here, um, we have uh, Madhu Bishnu uh, from E-Club of Melbourne. Could you introduce yourself, please? Uh, Madhu, you may be on mute. All right, well, maybe we'll, uh, we'll get back to Madhu. Uh, and then I see uh, Uzana. I think Uzana is on mute as well. Um, have I missed any guests with us today? I had the chance to meet Horatio, but um, I don't know if he is still on. Uh, I didn't see him on the list. He might have. He might have dropped off. He might have dropped off. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're good then. So let's, uh, let's move along. And uh, we've got a couple of announcements here. First of all, uh, thank you uh, back in way back in August to those who participated in the Jesse White off to college trunk party, packing hundreds of necessary school supplies for Chicago um, students going off to college. It was all a little challenging this year because of COVID. Um, 
but but you all got it done. Uh, they just released their video of the trunk party, and uh, we're going to share that link. It's in the chat box right now. It was also in the, uh, the newsletter earlier today. Uh, our annual campaign is going strong. Uh, Marga, are you, uh, are you still on? Do you want to give the 30-second overview of the annual campaign? I think Marga may have, uh, may have dropped off. Um, but you can see our, our goal there, our annual campaign goal, as always, there are two foundations that we're giving to. We're giving to the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International, where Lauren works. Um, and then we also have the Rotary One Foundation. And it's critical to give to both of these foundations because both of those monies come back to fund our projects in different ways. So all the great projects the dozens and dozens of projects that we do every year are made possible through the donations to these organizations. Now, it turns out that today is Giving Tuesday, as I'm sure you've seen if you've gone anywhere on social media. Uh, so please consider adding the Rotary One Foundation to your list of charities. Uh, the link to donate is in the chat box. Um, we'd love to get at least a $25 donation from everybody. We look for 100 percent participation from the club. Uh, guests are welcome as well. Uh, today and today only, if you donate $100, you get a free snazzy Rotary One mask, like the one that you see us all wearing here as we are delivering meals to low-income seniors in the Gold Coast. Um, so uh, another way, easy way to support uh, the Rotary One Foundation is through Amazon Smile. So when you shop on Amazon, you log into Amazon, you click on Amazon Smile, and you search for the Rotary One Foundation in the list of charities, and you uh, go ahead and select that. And the percentage of your purchases then will benefit the foundation. Super easy, especially if you're going to be shopping on Amazon. Anyway, one of the things that we're committed to do as a club, particularly with our strategic plan this year, is trying to feature our members, to promote our members, what they're doing, what they're involved with, um, uh, their jobs, everything, right? Um, so you need to let us know what you're doing. If you have some interesting things going on in your life, um, some interesting accomplishments, we wanna share those. Um, we're also looking for submissions. We want you to write something for us. We can put it in the newsletter, it can go on our website or on social media, but we're really seeking great rotary stories and experiences or stories from work you're doing with other organizations that may be of interest to Rotarians. So um, uh, please submit your story or your ideas for a story uh, to office at rotaryone.club or feel free to reach out to me or anybody on our PR marketing committee and we'll, uh, we'll make sure to get your story featured. Other things we want you to help out on, every Friday, Alita Williams leads the Meals for Seniors program. And that's at Maple Point Apartments at 150 West Maple in the Gold Coast. It's every Friday at 5.30 p.m. You show up, she's got the food ready. She's got the list ready. You just take the food, knock on various seniors doors, uh, hand them the food safely, obviously, or leave the food there um, and share a kind word. Uh, so please uh, sign up for that. It's on the calendar, uh, always, uh, always available every Friday. We have meetings coming up as always, our committee meetings. We just had a board meeting just prior to this, but the board meeting, uh, the next board meeting is Tuesday, January 5th. We also have community service this Thursday, international service next Thursday, and PR and marketing the following Thursday. And anybody is welcome at any of those meetings. We'd really love to have your help. Or if you just want to see how things get done in the club, that would be fantastic. You can sign up on the website on our calendar. In terms of our Tuesday meetings, our regular meeting schedule, next Tuesday, December 8th, at 12.10 p.m., we have Tracy Bame, the publisher of the Chicago Reader. Uh, that should be a fascinating conversation. And then on Tuesday, December 15th, we have the Rotary Club of Chicago annual meeting. Come and learn about what your club has been up to 
all year. Uh, we're going to try to make it a little bit fun, a little bit exciting. We'll have a lot of awards for, for people to honor all the contributions that our members have made throughout the year. December 17th, Thursday, December 17th, is going to be the Rotary One Holiday Party and Volunteer Activity. More details, TBD, the holiday party, obviously will be virtual. The volunteer activity likely will be a blending of both virtual as well as perhaps in-person volunteer opportunity too. Um, at the end of every meeting, uh, we always have a guest read the four-way test, and we always put the four-way test up on the screen. Um, since the Rotaract Club of Chicago are our guests leading the meeting today, uh, Lauren, would you do us the honor of uh, leading the four-way test for us? It's on the screen in front of you right now. Sure. Thank you for putting it on the screen. I, I have memorized it. <laughs> a little shameful. Um, the four-way test. Of the things we think, say, or do, first, is it the truth? Second, is it fair to all concerned? Third, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And fourth, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you very much, Lauren. And I'd like to invite anybody interested to hang around for a few minutes. If they want to chat more, we'll keep the meeting open. But otherwise, meeting adjourned.